Okay, so I'm in the middle of replaying this level, and, um, Snatchall is gone. What? What is that? What was that? I was just gonna... I was just gonna off-screen until I find the bonus, and then that weird... Then he just kind of disappeared, and... Fuck me. Fuck me. I was gonna off-screen until I find the bonus, but... No, we're just recording now. Fuck it. So, okay, I was just commenting how... I was just commenting how, like, I'm trying to feed in these fish, then he... For some of these fish, he's just like, eh, I don't want to, and he just, he just backs out of it like an idiot. Then he, then he's about to do the same for a lurchin, like, he's just kind of swimming around a lurchin, he's just like, eh, will I eat you? And I tried to swim, swim away before he decided to eat it, and as a result, a Snapchat just kind of clipped out. He just kind of disappeared for a little bit. Ugh. Maybe you can pull that off right, he'll just disappear permanently. That would be a welcome treat. No, 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 no. Suffice to say, I don't remember where the bonus is exactly. Okay, don't go down there. Well, I could do, I could just have him go down there, then pull out that trick again. Okay, so Dixie can swim under there. Not Kitty. Kitty got a bigger hitbox. Yeah. That's just a damn G. Who the fuck cares about the Kong letters? I don't remember. I think he had to go into one of these stupid holes. Oh, look, there's a million. There's a million of those holes where the origins are. How am I supposed to figure out the right one? There's, there's got to be some kind of indicator. Screen. It's like, I don't remember which, which one that is. <sighs> Squirt. This is an animal buddy boss. I'll either treat. And it's a waterfall level, so even better. So that water won't damage you, it will push you off. And basically, have to shoot his eyes when they get exposed. 
Easier to do it from the opposite side. Yeah, I thought he would have stopped. Gotta be careful when you make the jumps too, because these are not reliable ledges. Overall, this boss is just a bunch of waiting, and I don't like it. Yeah, you can miss that last jump, so watch out. <sighs> Shortcut. So, now we'll head to World 4, Mechanos. Sorry, I'm a fireball frenzy. Um, time for factory levels! I like the factory level music. Um, those birds are called, um, carbines. Carbons. Probably just carbons. I don't know. So they shoot background fireballs, basically. And we got little pits of lava, so watch out for that. Yeah. Maybe just one. This one actually follows you up, that's pretty uh, neat. <laughs> Crap! I was doing good at this level. Might be a bit of lava down here, so don't just rush it. <laughs> Ooh, there's something over there. <laughs> just die. Why did I do that? Wow. Surprised I lived through that.
don't ride this platform until it goes. Ah, crap! Okay. Here goes nothing. Alright, bonus. Oh, we got Squitter. That makes this a million times easier. But, no more Squitter. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of mean. Um, I don't remember if there are any Kong throws in this level. Oh, yes, there is! Crap! Oh, I just... Well, I remember now. Let's just beat it normally first, then just in case. And get this DK one at least. So all, all the ones that just got you are getting you again. It's pretty funny. It's it's a fun gimmick overall. And then we gotta replay the level now. Okay, so Dixie can, uh, twirl off those. Now I need to do the Kong throw. I accidentally th throw- oh yeah, it comes up there too, so watch out for that! Okay. Thing that kitty has much of. Yeah. 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 
I was putting too much faith in the Fireball's hitboxes there. Okay, um, Bazooka's Barracks can't really do anything there yet. So let's get a Demolition Drain Pipe. This is a horrible level. Okay. Yep, you can hear that music. It's a race level. I vaguely recall there being a warp pipe. Being a warp pipe. A warp somewhere at this beginning part. I'm wrong. Okay. So, this is a minecart level, except uh, the minecart. The minecart for this game is a toboggan. It's like in the second game, it was a roller coaster. It makes the same sound effect as the roller coaster. Ow. Actually, I'm pretty sure the minecart, toboggan, and roller coaster. They all just make the same sound effects, so, yeah. Fuck. Okay, okay, that was a happy accident. Okay. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Um, is there a Kong throw for this level? I'm not sure. I'll just had to survive until the end. I don't remember if there was a checkpoint in the original. I feel like, yeah, the, these levels do have checkpoints. You gotta fall, gotta fall into one of these. Not that one. I think the one you have to fall into has a banana, so... Watch out for pit bananas. Can't you just skip this? Oh, no! Oh, there's a... <laughs> ah, that's a troll move. No! Oh, why do I drop there? I don't need you again. I'm an expert platformer. in an area where, where they make you jump a bunch of times, and then you'll, you'll just want to jump there on impulse. But you, you shouldn't because you have to go down there. That That's where it's going to be. Fuck. Well, we found a hidden coin. That was just a bad attempt. on that thing at all. Lucky. 
get down. There it is! Oh, that was so lucky. Oh. <laughs> Get me out of here. Um, this would be easier if we had Dixie. Jump. Uh, at least it respawns. Jump. Okay. Huh. The DK coin is generously. Whoa. That could have been bad. Interesting, but bad. Okay. All right. Auto levels are the worst in hard mode, except for that uh, that LE race level because there's no checkpoints anyway. Ripsaw Rage. Well, that is exactly what I'm about to do in this level. Yep, this tree level is not so pleasant because there's a giant ass saw destroying the forest. Better run like hell. That is not worth going for. You have to be really hasty when you try to look for the secrets, too. Alright, that's an easy one to find, because it's plain and obvious. That one's easy. <laughs> Might be a Kong throw for this level. Low right. Distinctly remember there being a Kong throw. At, and it's gonna be at the end, so that's even worse. Like, typically, if there is a calm throw, it's gonna be near the end. Yeah, you're not really a shortcut, so... <laughs> Maybe there's a warp or something somewhere in this level. I should just look the warps up right now, just to... Save myself some agony. I don't know what that barrel's for. God. All right, damage boost, damage boost. We can't do the conquer anymore, but damage boost. All right, this one's creative.
Yeah. You have a little grace. You have some time to get some more uh, bananas there. A little grace period. Yeah. We're not going to be able to beat this level now. Okay. Oh, okay. Here's another invincibility barrel. Here's where the. Alright, now it's gonna stop chasing us. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Okay, I was wrong about the Kong throw. Okay, that was easier than I remember. Okay. Not bad. Also, we cannot get the, uh. We can't get the banana. The banana bird for this level yet. Let me move on to blazing bazookas. Oh, a DK barrel! So this is the only DK barrel in hard mode that is not required to progress, but they just leave it in anyway. Like, there will be some instances where it'll give us a DK barrel because we have to do a Kong throw. But you really don't need, um, two Kongs for, 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 the, for this area, for, for this first area. So I don't understand why they just let us have a DK barrel there. Not that it matters, because you're not likely to take damage in that first section. So it doesn't even matter. And I don't think you can backtrack anyway. Be too much for pain too. Oh my god, Squitter's in this level. Where did we miss Squitter? Yeah, you need that TNT barrel to defeat uh, the bazooka, and then you can get Squitter. Afterwards, we have a pretty obvious. Um... <laughs> Be off guard. Well, it's it's the beginning of the level anyway, so not too big a deal. I don't really remember if we have to have both Kongs though. Oh, and we can't even use Squitter to go back and get that DK barrel, because they have the, the no Squitter sign. That sucks. Alright, we found the coin. Alright, this coin's actually pretty creative. So, uh, yeah, the normal barrels can't defeat coin, only the metal barrels can. So where do we find a metal barrel? Well, we have to hit this barrel switch. I get his shield was just barely up and it still counted. It's, it's weird how coins hitbox work sometimes. So even though they're not TNT anymore, there's normal barrels, it doesn't really help you. It doesn't even matter, because you can just use Squitter to go over him. I don't really understand the whole point of that. Oh. Well, I guess, I guess because you would have had to do it, the, you had to jump across those barrels if you didn't have Squitter, but, I mean, of course I had Squitter. That's why wouldn't I have Squitter? Probably a secret down there. Ugh. All right. Required N, weird.
Oh, well, the thing, he's treating normal barrels, so there's obviously a secret. Alright, pretty easy. It's kind of tricky to land that. <sighs> so far, so good. <gasps> okay, okay, I thought there was going to be a point to coming over here, but I guess not. Yee! They love to troll us. I bet you there's something over there. Hope that hope it's not a bonus, it's just like more general junk. Alright, that was an easy level. We didn't really uh, need both Kongs at all. That was easy. Low G Labyrinth. This is our second pipe level, but it's a pipe level with the actual music this time. I like how with these those race levels. Those race levels are always the first level for a particular environment, and as a result, you don't hear the right music for that environment. You just hear the race music. It's kind of weird. I like I like the uh, the pipe level music. It has a nice ominousness to it. But yeah, the gimmick here is low gravity. Uh, it's not really not really a bad gimmick. Whoa! No! 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 Except when you miss a jump. Ugh. I mean, it's usually not a bad gimmick. Ugh. Have a drink, though. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a... Uh, Kong throw in this level. It's telling me to jump there. Oh, I guess I guess that is the safer option. Okay. Ugh. Okay, too high, too high. There's a bonus over here. Okay, let's get through here the safe way. There we are. Well, I'll have Diddy lead the charge, because Dixie could be helpful here. Oh my god, that is such a bull move. Like, you'd be thinking, look, I don't care for that O, I just want to get through this level, and oh man, I should have gone for that O, because that was actually a safe spot to land. Screw you. Ugh. I just hate falling. Oh, okay, you do need a Kong throw here. Because screw this level. We'll see if we can uh, beat the rest of it first. I bet you can't backtrack with this guy. Yes, you can. Okay! Never mind, we don't need a Kong throw yet, but... Yep, this is our first time seeing clocks in this level. Or in this game. Yeah, you, yeah, that's basically how you have to get up here. Like, if he just came up here using the Kong throw, this minigame would be pretty hard. So, clocks only had one level in the original. Or, I mean, in the previous game. And he basically works like a parachute, where he only, he only flies downward, but you have to maneuver left and right. In this game, he can fly freely. But he cannot shoot nuts like Squawks can. Now, his gimmick, he had to use him to pick up barrels and drop them on enemies. And, fun fact, um, Quacks is the only animal buddy in this game that you do not ride. 
that when you play as him, you're transforming into him. In fact, you don't ever ride Squawks. You might. No, you might ride Squawks once. Yeah. So Quawks, you never um, ride in this game. You just change into him. I mean, if you look at DKC2, he can't really do much. He just, he just floats you downward. That's the only time you're going to be riding him. <laughs> that was not fair! I mean, if you, even if you could ride him in this game, it wouldn't do anything. It's like, his attack is picking barrels up and dropping them, but he can't do that if he's carrying the Kongs. Overall, it's really... It's really interesting how Quox works between these games. South. here. Okay, why did I even waste my time with that? I should have just been brave and dropped. I get a hug, hug the left now. You didn't mean to roll off that. doesn't respawn. miss this damn barrel this time. Is it just lower down like this and just have just freaking have that happen? So that barrel doesn't just doesn't respawn at all. It sucks. This it looked like a situation where the barrel would just respawn. But whatever. Screw off. Wow, they're just not generous with these barrels. Oh, 
turn on, turn on another one. There's some TNT dynamite. I think you need to, I think you need that to kill this one. And there's like a bonus down there. <laughs> I take it back, this is an atrocious gimmick. Fight the Beth Kongs this time. Okay. Hitboxes didn't register. All right, and that'll be a bonus. Uh, now we get the normal squats this time, cause yeah. What? Turn left, you idiot! Cause this mini game would not be fun if you just had to do Quox's tedious process. time turning though, I'll tell you what. And then we that's kind of a weird transition. Then we just then we're just suddenly quacks again. Like they only put us in another barrel to turn us back into him. It's just whoop, you're quacks now. Ugh. Oh that's a dick. That banana led me right to that zinger. Dick move. I thought that was going to be for the coin, but I guess not. So where is the coin anyway? Oh, there's the coin. Okay, let's come up here first. Shit! Okay, this is a one chance coin. No! No, you get another barrel. Okay. So you would have had more chances for that. I just want to kill those bees out of spite. I'm going to kill these... I'm going to kill these bees out of safety. I do want to find out what's over here, though. i got to quit doing that. I'll just wait for them to go down there, and then I'll just throw like that. Easy. Did 
That's a little, that's, that's a pretty elaborate path over there. I feel like there's another bonus. Nope. Nope. I'm keeping my safety barrel. I do not want to chance it. Whoa, that jump didn't register. That all? Oh. Well, thank you for the invincibility. Revenge! Revenge! Let me get a chance at it. I cannot believe I made that. Cannot believe. Save the game. This is a really hard world. Chaos Carnage. Gong's enemy, he must be destroyed. Wow, what a great start. So, yeah, Chaos is a boss's dialogue. Why don't the other bosses have dialogue? Would have been interesting. So, we basically have to dodge this rocket and wait for those platforms to appear. On its head. It's rare that the boss. It's rare that the bosses in these um, later Donkey Kong games have a jump on the head weakness. Like the bosses usually involve having to throw something. Like in DK One, you had to jump on the bosses' head. Except for the Queen Bee where you had to throw barrels into it. But like in every every boss in the sequel. You had to throw stuff into them. You. Next time we meet, chaos will win. So now we have two jet skis. Wonder what we'll do with those. Well, there's nowhere else in the other world to go, so we have to go back to Funky now. Funky Town. Well, hey, you found two skis. Awesome. I've now got all the parts I need to make you the ultimate ride. Not really. Wait right there, Dixie, while I get you my latest and greatest boat yet. Bunkers, I've built in a cool turbo Shit. feature that'll be sure to take you to new heights. Not really. Well, basically, the ski here can go up one falls. Alright, next time we'll head to World 5. 